Okay, the Cigar Lab is live outside, March 8th. It's about 6.15, daylight savings time gives us some daylight. And Mother Nature and Groundhog Phil, Punxsutawney Phil, is giving us some early spring weather over 60 degrees here right now. So we're outside and we're going to talk to you as we smoke the My Father La Gran Oferta. My Father, a great line of cigars, and this one, La Gran Oferta, says it's their grand offering. So they consider this a primo of their cigars, which is tough to do because all their cigars are so good. Ecuadorian Rosado wrapper. Inside, you're going to find some Nicaraguan wrapper and binder. So it's not going to be as full bodied, probably not as much sweetness. Taking factor for the wind here when you're lighting outside. Doesn't seem to be much wind, but. Not a real sweet cigar, but it's a very balanced cigar. Some earthness, some of that uh, hay, and those type of things are coming in. But the sweetness is going to come almost as a baking chocolate, so it's not a real sweet cocoa, but a, there's some strong pepperiness. So imagine some earthiness, hay, some baking chocolate go along with some strong pepper, what you're getting in the first couple in hand. Well, I've smoked nearly all of the My Father line, Don P. Garcia, the uh, proprietor of that uh, line. It's hard to say which cigar stands out because they all stand out frequently in the uh, Cigar Aficionado's top ratings in one cigar of the year multiple times, showing up in the top 10 on a regular basis, scores in the 90s, so a lot of their cigars. This, uh, the, the grand offering, a lot of it uh, refers to the cigar band part, which is just phenomenal. Take the time to enjoy the uh, art on the band. That's part of the experience, is enjoying all of the cigar, how it's uh, presented to you. And presented with a nice uh, toothy and veiny Rosoto wrapper with an outstanding artwork on the band. So in our Sunday Smoke Signal, we like to highlight a cigar, possibly a lounge. So many cigars out there, so We'll never run out of material. And you want to take the time to enjoy some finish of the cigar. That's where the strong pepperiness is going to come in. Um, I wouldn't say it's completely bizarre, the earthiness and the uh, baking chocolate. Not as heavy as some other cigars by that. I mean, sometimes the smoke and the everything is just seems to be heavy. This is probably a medium bodied, medium to full. And the flavors, not a lot of flavors, just a, a few, but they're strong. So I wouldn't say this is a beginner cigar and not a cigar for an empty stomach. It's uh, about 6.20 here in the evening. So I'm winding down my day. The coffee. Our had played for the conference championship. They come up a little bit short. It's their third loss of the year. I was fortunate to broadcast that game. They're an outstanding group of uh, young ladies. Their season will continue. They're going to find out where and when at 10 o'clock in the Division II selection show. Good chance they will host the East Regional coming up at the end of the week. I'd like to see that happen. At the most they would uh, do would be finished two in the region and maybe have to travel uh, to West Virginia to play that tournament. But men have already clinched and won their Pennsylvania Conference Championship. They were number one in the region.
with a strong chance the women will play as well. And they'll bring in the 18 from the region and get a winner, and they uh, move on to what the, in the Division Two is called the Elite Eight, not the Final Four. The women would like to make it to Birmingham, Alabama this year as they uh, made it to the Elite Eight a couple of times now and uh, actually made it to the Final Four in the past. To take it past that would be another major accomplishment already with the uh, 28 and two going into the game. They're now 28 and three. Their uh, last two years, they've won 30 ball games, finished the record at 30 and four. We'll see how this season goes. But enough about uh, the basketball, but just explaining what I did in this uh, great March day. I'm getting reports that uh, people are seeing some spring flowers coming up. I can definitely hear the, the birds that have made their way back north. As you, I smoke uh, my cigar out here on my back porch. This is my typical place to enjoy my cigars, whether it's the morning or the evening, is my back porch. Furniture is not completely set up, but I have a uh, Adirondack chair I may do and enjoying some fresh air. But don't know what had this uh, video extend too long, but I will tell you that uh, as a cigar, continues it smooths out a little bit the pepperiness is still strong but not quite as strong but be prepared for some strong pepperiness to start this cigar it mellows out and blends into some pepper uh, baking chocolate and some earthiness strong cigar no surprise from my father uh, definitely worth the eight or nine dollar price tag but uh, I would say it uh, had some better my father's but uh, that's hard to when you anything in the my father line outstanding we're going to sign off the video right now. This is the Cigar Lab, and hopefully you can check us out. Twitter, Facebook, blog, it's all available. And if you'd like to see more or read more, check out that blog. We're going to see you soon.